Welcome, my name is Vince, and today I want to talk to you about ladder line, its characteristics, and a few things you should know about it if you plan to use it. Let's hop over to the computer. Okay, ladder line, or sometimes called twin lead, comes in three sizes, 600 ohm, which people usually make, 450 ohm, which is common, and then there's a 300 ohm, which may also have been twin lead you used for your television. Let's say you got your transmitter and you got your twin lead coming up, your spacers. Now what it is basically is two wires and it's evenly spaced with these spacers. Now let's say if we look at this end on end, like this is one end and this is the other, what you have is you have one with the power going up to the antenna and then one's bringing the unused power back down. So when you look at it end to end, it'll be like a plus and a minus for like a better terms. So what you have technically is if you have current going in this wire, you would think it would radiate and with most wires it would. But with ladder line, here's the difference. Now with current going in one direction, you'll have it in this path in this direction going like this and then since the current on this one is going in the other direction it'll be going like this this way now if you notice with this going this way and this going this way what you have is in the center you'll see they're both going the same way here now if you look a little further out on this other magnetic field that's removed from the wire you'll notice you'll have one going this way from the one wire and the other wire you'll have one going upward and what they do is they cancel each other out and this is the reason why the ladder line does not radiate now I believe there is an exception with antennas that are designed to radiate like maybe the G5RB but in common use with ladder line this is what you have now this is at this distance away from the ladder line but when you get closer to the ladder line like right in here or right in here now you do have some field in here and they do not cancel each other out which means you'll have a pattern that's closer to this and it's this pattern here that you have to keep away from everything you have to keep it away from metal objects, keep it away from trees, keep it away from anything. Now, I may not be the scale. This may actually be two foot away from here to here. And this may be eight inches, ten inches. Now, let's say if you did lay this close to something, and that's why I made this a little lower on this side. Like if you had it near metal flashing or a pipe, or even gone up over the roof with a rain gutter here, and it's this close to the ladder line, what you'll have is these fields will distort and it will change the characteristics of the fields around the ladder line and overall will affect your antenna performance and absolutely affect your SWR. Actually, I would keep the ladder line a minimum of 12 inches away from any objects and even up to 30 inches would be fantastic. Now one other thing about ladder line, it tends to blow in the wind, it's light. So what people would do is, every four feet, they will take and give this one twist. So it will look something like this. Every four feet. And what that does, that makes it more stable in the wind. It's no longer like a sail, sort of, like this is. It's got this spin and it gets skinnier here. It's a lot more stable in the wind. Now, another use I did with ladder line was I fed an 80 meter loop with ladder line down to a four to one balance. And then I had coax come out to my radio. And with this, what I had to do is I had to adjust the loop size right from here to get it to where I wanted the antenna to resonate. And then I had to adjust the length of the ladder line to get it to 50 ohms on the band where this was resonant at. And with that, if you're in the right spot on the band, like if you're lower than 80, 
you'll catch some of the higher bands within the hand band and, and you're good to go. Even with this and tuning it for the one band, even if the other bands are slightly a 2 or a 3 SWR, it still works fine because this 80 meter loop's actually a non-resident antenna. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. I hope it taught you a little something about ladder line. Please forgive my messy writing. I'm actually writing with the mouse on a program on a computer and it's very difficult to get decent lines. Please absolutely subscribe and ding that bell. 73s.